Hey everybody, so today I am back with another declutter. Now that the cat is out of the bag about me moving to Canada, um, that is the reason why I've been doing so many like closet declutters and you know, really just my closet declutter. <laughs> it is time to um, make my makeup collection a little bit closer to like a normal person's makeup collection. I'm doing this for two reasons. I am going, I'm getting rid of this desk and I'm just going to have a normal desk and five drawers. So I am going from seven drawers plus a basket to just five drawers. Um, so I'm going to need to be really cutthroat and really just keep the things that I love and use. And the second reason is also like I feel like I've really really held on to a lot of things that were really pop popular in the beauty industry anywhere from like 2013 to like 2018, 2019. And I feel like the makeup industry has totally changed so I kind of want this to be a fresh start so that I can buy new makeup and you know, just kind of restart, get rid of all of my stuff from the past beauty industry and go in with a fresh start. I'm going to try to do this all in one video. Maybe it'll just be one fat video. I might have to break it up into two videos, but I'm going through literally every drawer. Plus I have a basket of makeup. Anything that is like hardly used, I'm giving to friends and family. Um, anything that's just like nasty, I'm going to throw away. Um, the standard the standard stuff. Without further ado, let's get into this giant ass declutter. So this is a basket that I keep over in the corner of my room with just like all of my overflow palettes that like I want to keep but I just don't reach for as much. But again, I'm going to be very, very, very cutthroat here. So this is the ColourPop Rainbow Land palette. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I have a bunch of rainbow eyeshadows that I still use and love. And even like the neutrals in here, I have more that I love. Um, and I just know this will be really, really coveted in somebody else's collection. So I'm going to give this to a friend. I don't know if I can get rid of this, even though I barely use it. This is a Kathleen Lights and ColourPop So Jaded palette. This is just such a pretty palette, but I just haven't used it and really like, I feel like this basket is gonna be empty by the end of this. I feel like that's gonna be the case for a lot of these. I love these palettes, but I just never use it. This palette I think in theory is really cool, but I have a hard time building looks with it um, just cause I don't really use a lot of jewel tones. So I don't know what I was thinking buying this, but I bought it because I love Kathleen Lights, okay? This is the Luscious Lex collection palette. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's really nice quality. Um, again, I just have other ones that I reach for. These are strobe cosmetics and they're not called strobe anymore. What are they called? It's now called shroud cosmetics. I Love this brand. I love this company. These are really cool beautiful eyeshadow palettes This is the divinity. This is the creepy cute super fun super cool. Oh My heart hurts. Maybe I'll keep the divinity palette I'm going to keep these to the side because I really I'm gonna see how much I keep and then I will see if I will keep these These like really hold a, a place in my heart. These are my makeup geek blushes now um, Is this one? This one is like completely discolored over here. I feel like I almost need to throw these away. I know powder stays like good for a long time, but the, y'all, these are like fucking old. These are, if y'all have been with me and remember when Makeup Geek sent me their entire collection, that's how old these are. Um, I've had these since like 20... 16 I feel like I should just throw them away like even the colors I can tell the colors are just off um, So I think I'm just going to toss these I you know makeup geek was such like a huge important part of my you know makeup journey, but it's just not that journey anymore. Okay, I have so much glitter. I think I'm gonna put these to the side. These are all like glitters that I use for my nails. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna do a different declutter um, with all of my nail products. So let me know if you all wanna see that. And then I have some Shroud Cosmetics. I have some Luscious Lex. I have some eye candy. Again, I'm gonna save it because I have a lot of other glitter in this drawer right here. So I'm gonna wait to go through all of those. Okay, um, the Black Light Highlighting Palette from BH Cosmetics. I barely use this. It's just really, really fun, like more weird highlight colors, but I have a friend that would really like these and have fun with them, so I'm gonna give them to her. Take me back to Brazil. Again, I just have other rainbow palettes that I love and use. Somebody else will love this. Oh, my ColourPop Single Shadows. 
again, I've just moved on from ColourPop Single Shadows. These are all incredible. I love them so much. I don't use them. I don't use them. And I have people in my life that would love these. Same with the Profusion Mirage. Ugh. I kind of want to keep this just because it's so affordable and it's relatively new to me. Okay, I'm going to put this in the maybe pile with the Divinity palette. This is another Profusion Amethyst. This was sent to me, but I just don't really use this. I don't really reach for little palettes like this that much. Ugh, Urban Decay Electric. Y'all, I have literally kept this. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I have literally kept this because you can't get it anymore. Like, this is like very sentimental. I love this but I don't use it anymore. It's like barely even pigmented anymore. Oh, it's, it's okay, but it's really fucking old. I think I'm gonna throw this away. Oh! No, I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because I'm gonna see if I have room to keep this. <laughs> Milani must love, most loved mattes. This is a great, do y'all remember this little palette? I feel like this little palette like came on and like exploded the beauty space. It's such a beautiful little palette, but again, I have people in my life that would love it and use it a lot more than I do. Urban Decay Ultraviolet. I feel bad because this was sent to me and I never used it in anything. It is literally brand new. Do you see? Like the, the plastic is still on the brush. This is just not something that is for me. Yeah, dude, I just, again, somebody will love this, but I just don't. So I'm giving that one to a friend. This is another, this is a Makeup Revolution palette. I've literally never used. I think it was sent to me. I've literally, I haven't touched this at all. And then this is a Juvia's Place Berries by Juvia's palette. Um, I just really, really, really wanted to try Juvia's Place eyeshadows. This palette's just a little boring to me. Like, you can't really do much with this. It's a great addition to a collection, um, but I just... It's a little boring. It's colors I love, but, like, also these two aren't different enough. Like, this one looks so much darker, but, like they all kind of look the same. Like these two kind of look the same, these two kind of look the same, these two kind of look the same. So again, give this to a friend, they'll get use out of it. That's it, that's it. There's a scrunchie in here, there's a discount code for uh, Vera's eye candy, and there is whatever the fuck these are. I don't know what this is. Um, but we got rid of a basket, we're good. This is my very bottom drawer. This drawer is a lot of special effects makeup and just like, et cetera. Um, I might skip this for now. Um, keep everything in there and when I'm in Canada, I will go through it to see how much of this I can keep But since I only use this like once a year I like keeping it because I don't want to rebuy special effects makeup every single year. So um, I'm gonna keep that Let's go up a drawer. This drawer is my glitters and uh, Glitter gels glitter liners and extra liners and then all of this stuff here is extra foundation and powder So I'm gonna go through my powders first and honestly I think I'm gonna get rid of all of them literally all of them but this elf finishing powder is really really pretty I love it that's why I have two of them um yeah I think I'm just gonna get rid of all of the rest of these just because I have my powders that I like and I have powders that I like more than all of these so again I will toss them to friends um okay clean, clean fresh skin milk um, in fair and tan. I'm gonna keep these because I really do enjoy these. These are just extra colors. Um, pro coverage foundation. I think I'm gonna get rid of, um, the dark shade of my no filter foundation. I'm going to get rid of this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation. Oh god, that smells like paint. Yeah, I'm getting rid of that. That smells bad. Um, camo CC cream. I'm gonna give to a friend, see if they like it. I did not like this. I will link the video where I try it down below. If I remember, if not, text me. <laughs> if not, comment and I will, um, do that. But I just didn't like, like this. So I'll give this to a friend to see if they do. Stay Naked foundation. I didn't really like this as well. Um, I just thought it was kind of a boring foundation. Maybe I'll try it one more time. No, I'm not, I'm, no, I'm not gonna keep this because I've had this for like over a year. I got this at the start of quarantine, okay? So I'm gonna give it to a friend, see if they like it. Um, another shade, another, um, color of the No Filter Foundation. I prefer the, uh, other ColourPop foundation, the Stay Fresh or Pretty Fresh foundation, and these are fucking old, so I'm gonna get rid of them. This is an Urban Decay, like, body glitter. I'm gonna give this to a friend. She'll have fun with it. Um, the Koki Cosmetics Full Coverage Foundation. I really like this, but this shade is really, like, way too light for me, so I'm gonna give it to my friend who's paler than me, and she will have fun playing with it. Okay, let's go through my glitters now. 
Um, okay, I'm going to put these up here with the rest of my foundations for now. Okay, all of these ColourPop glitter gels, I'm going to keep... No, I'm going to pick a few that I really like, and the rest I'm going to give to friends, because a lot of these are really similar. I really like these three. Ugh. You know, I'm going to keep this one as well. Roller Disco, I've used this one a lot. Um, and then these will all go to friends. This Epic Ink liner uh, is dry as a bone, so I'm going to get rid of that. These Profusion liquid liners, I'm going to get rid of. Um, they're fun to play around with, but nobody can buy them anymore. I think they were limited edition, so it's kind of pointless for me to use them in videos um, when y'all can't even buy them. So I'm going to get rid of those. These um, Profusion liquid glitters are like really dried up, so I'm going to get rid of these. These Koki Crystal Fusion glitters, they're supposed to be kind of like the Steela Magnificent Metals. I'm going to give these to friends. I don't think I've used, I think I've maybe used one like once. Colourpop Raw Beauty Christy Super Shock Shadows. Um, I've already kind of decluttered these and these are the two shades that I really like. So I'm going to keep these in Olympic and Mycelium. Um, love Raw Beauty Christy. I'm going to keep those. They're really pretty. Um, this Urban Decay pressed glitter was gifted to me, but I just, this isn't a color that I use, so give that to a friend. This NYX, um, like, white base, uh, again, I, look how much I've used it. It literally used once. See if a friend wants it. There's an Urban Decay Heavy Metal, which looks like it's still in pretty good shape. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this, because I do really like this color. It's just a nice, like, perfect in-between silver, in-between gold. This NYX, NYX glitter I really, really love, so I'm gonna keep that, plus my primer. This Urban Decay, nope, uh, KVD uh, Pomade. This is obviously, I used this when I had green hair. Um, I'm gonna give this to a friend, see if they want it. These Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop, I only have three of them, and I really like each of the colors. This is Ripple, this is Roy G. Biv, and this is Frog. I really enjoy these, and I only have three of them, so I'm gonna keep them. Well, I might just get rid of these all of these glitters. Um, again, give them to a friend. I just don't really reach for glitter that much, and I feel like when I do, I reach for like these glitter gels, and I feel like it's just time to get some new different glitters if I want to use glitter in a look. So these Shroud Cosmetics glitters are fucking beautiful. Maybe I'll keep these. Maybe I'll, I'm gonna keep the Shroud ones, because these ones are so beautiful and so unique. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those for sure. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of these. Oh my god, okay, we are burning through these. God lips. Now, I have decluttered these. Hi, how you doing? I've decluttered these uh, a little bit ago, but it's just it just needs to happen again. Okay, y'all, I just took out all of my lipstick. I also just got sent all of the new Urban Decay Vegan Vice like lipstick range. I'm really, really excited about these. So I may go through and pick just the ones that I want to keep. Um, but I think I'm only gonna get rid of a couple of these because all these shades look like things that I would fuck with So and again, I'm trying to keep room for new makeup and this is new makeup So right now I'm just gonna go through and pull the things that I am 100% going to keep and then we'll talk about what I'm gonna get rid of Okay, y'all, so I have pulled, everything here is what I'm keeping. So I'm keeping my Jaclyn. I'm keeping my Jaclyn cosmetics because they're brand new. These elf ones that Mason ordered for me that was really cute. All of my Milani, I love my Milani liquid lipsticks. I'm keeping just a couple KVD. This one is almost brand new and this one is one of my favorites that I'm going to keep. I'm keeping these two colored rain ones. I love colored rain liquid lipsticks. I'm keeping both of my So Juicy pump Plumping gloss from, Glosses from ColourPop. I'm going to keep these shades of um, Buxom lip glosses. Y'all know I love me a Buxom gloss and these ones are relatively new to me so I'm going to keep these. I'm keeping of course my ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie gloss. This is one of my favorites. And then I'm keeping, maybe I can get rid of a couple colors of these. No, I want to keep all of these. <laughs> these are the Buxom um, new nude lipsticks. So I'm going to keep those. And then y'all, I think I'm getting rid. Okay, these are all my lip liners, which let me just go through 
Let me just go through these really quick. Okay, I got rid of most of them because these are all so old, but I just kept these four. I don't use lip liner a lot, and I know the lip liners that I like. But I think I'm getting rid of literally everything else, except for these ones are really, these ones are kind of old. But I have these new ones, so I'm getting rid of my old ones. These ones are like all brand new. This is like a color that I'm not, just not really gonna wear. This one is from their last fall collection and it smells really good but again these are just slightly darker lip gloss colors that I just don't wear so these ones I'm gonna give to friends I think same with these ones because these ones aren't that old and like the friends that I'm close with won't care wait I want to keep this one ah! this one in Claire is really unique and it's one of my favorites but the rest of these I'll see if my friends want if not I'll toss them but they're not that old and they haven't been used that much but I'll see if my friends want them. And then the rest of these are like Jeffree Star, um, Koki, uh, A Colored Rain, and the Liquid, oop, this one has been open, so that one's gonna be nasty. And Liquid Suede's that I just don't reach for anymore. They're just old, I'm going to get rid of them. I'm gonna see if friends want them first and then just go from there. I'm also gonna go through off camera and just throw, like go smell all of them and make sure that none of them smell off before I try to give them to friends. And then whatever friends don't want, I will just toss. But these ones have been around for a long time. Oh my God. Okay, we are burning through this, love it. Okay, let's go through these Urban Decay lipsticks. So this one is a matte in the big one. I love this shade, so I'm gonna keep that for sure. And obviously these I'm just gonna give to friends, whichever colors I don't want. This one is called What's Your Sign? I have a feeling I'm gonna love this. Yup, absolutely gonna keep that one. This one is a cream and it looks like it's a red in Olveria? Olvera? I don't know. Um, yeah, definitely gonna keep that. Like a nice, dark, like deep red. Um, so these ones are all their new glosses, Plumping Shine Balms. I think I'm just gonna get rid of Name Drop and My Dude. I just, I'm not really a fan of like warm. And then I'm gonna keep this like cool pink and this nude. Let's see what they are. Yup, definitely gonna keep that one for sure. Yup, love that. Um, let's see, I'm gonna look at Name Drop, this kind of like warm peachy color yeah not really my flavor it's like a warm like glittery peach and as much as i love coral i just never actually wear it i love it but i never actually wear it so these two i will give in the friend pile and then the rest of these are all lipsticks that are different like they're shine and cream finishes so this one is called local and it's a shine finish which i think i'll keep that's like a nice muted mauve i'll see if i i'll use it then liar in cream i definitely am gonna keep this one look at that nude it's perfect um this one is called 405 and it's a shine finish i don't think this is what i'm gonna keep it just doesn't look like my style um well yeah shiny reds are definitely a mood it's just not my mood so but one of my friends it is her mood so i'll give that to her then two more we have Art Walk, which is a cream, which I'm gonna get rid of this type of pink. I just, y'all know, I'm not like a nude pink gal. I'm a nude gal. Um, so that will go to friends. Oh my gosh, my dryer's done. And then last one is called Naked and it's another cream finish, which I think I'll keep this one. This one is like a pink I could probably fuck with. If I don't fuck with it, I'll give it to friends later, but. That one I'm going to keep. So these are all my new Urban Decay lipsticks. Thank you so much, Urban Decay. I'm so excited. And if there's a color y'all are curious about, um, message me and I will try to do a video with this. I'm going to get rid of all of these and all the stuff I already got rid of. And these are the lipsticks that I'm keeping, which is like a lot, but I feel good about it because it's mostly new stuff. Like this is new and these are all favorites. So I feel good about what I'm keeping. Okay, y'all, these are all of, sorry it's so dark. I don't know why it's so dark. Let me see if I can adjust this. Is that better? I don't know. I think it's a better. Okay, these are my blushes, bronzers, and highlights, and I really feel like I'm gonna be cutthroat with these. I really know what I like, and I also wanna get new stuff, so like I'm just going to really be cutthroat here. So let's just start with blushes. 
I'm gonna finally get rid of these Milani Rose Powder blushes. I just feel like they're so old that they're not really pigmented anymore. Um, I'm gonna toss them because again, they're probably like six years old. Um, Makeup Geek blush. Oh, I love the shade. I'm gonna give it to a friend. Same with this Elf Mineral Plus Pressed Blush in Wanderlust. Again, just don't use. Um, Urban Decay, I'm keeping these. These are two of my favorite blushes. This is in Quiver and this is in Rapture. I don't think these are available anymore, but they're literally my favorites, so I'm sorry, but I'm keeping them. I'm going to keep all of my NYX Sweet Cheeks blushes. Those are some that I use all the time. Where's another one? That's another one. Um, these e.l.f. blushes I'm going to get rid of. I just feel like they're so fucking old uh, and I don't use them anymore. Current favorite ColourPop blush. This is in Juice Bar. Definitely going to keep this. I love this CoverGirl blush. Did I say ColourPop? Yeah, ColourPop. This is one of my favorites in Soft Mink. Um, just like a classic. I feel like I'm going to have to put that somewhere. I bought the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, Rouge Romance. So I'm obviously going to keep that. I'm also going to keep this um, Cover FX Duo. I love this one. I'm going to get rid of these two kimchi products. Um, they shatter so easily and they're so fucking warm on my skin. I just don't use them. So, uh, yeah, they're just way too warm. This NYX bronzer I got for free. Um, it was like a gift with purchase. So I'll keep it and see what shade I like. This elf bronzer is way too warm for me. So I'm going to get rid of that. I think I'm going to keep my thrive bronzer. I really like it for when I'm a little bit more tan. I'm going to keep my Too Faced bronzer because I like it. Um, my Nabla is like my favorite bronzer right now. Nick Sweet Cheeks in Taupe. Um, yeah. Okay. We're getting through it. Ooh, highlight. Oh, Milani bronzer. Um, again, one of my favorite bronzers. And then the Elf Putty bronzer. I enjoy. We'll see. We'll see how much I actually use it. Come on. I don't know if that's going to fit. That's annoying. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to be really cutthroat with highlights. I'm getting rid of all of my Makeup Geek ones. It's just time to say goodbye. Uh, I just don't use them. Somebody will love them. Same with this ColourPop one. I just don't use it. Um, this e.l.f. one, again, I think this was also a free gift with purchase. I just don't really use Ofra. This thing is still, you know, kicking. This is an Ofra and Dupe That collab. Um, I still use this in my, like, real life, so I'm going to keep it. Um, Champagne Pop. I'm never going to get rid of Champagne Pop. Um, these two Milani highlights, I think I'm still going to keep. They're a little old, but I still genuinely use them, so I'm going to keep them. Um, these CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner, I'm going to get rid of. I got them in PR a while ago. I don't really use them. I really love these little liquid, um, clean, fresh, cooling glow sticks. They're really, really pretty and fun, and they're still relatively new, so I'm going to keep those. And then I think I'm just going to keep... Some of these are so old, y'all. I think I'm just going to keep Flexitarian. Um, that one's my favorite one, and these ones are so old. Like, I think I'm going to throw them away. They're so old. Are they still, like, good? They still look and smell fine, so maybe I'll give them to friends. Oh, my God. Anastasia Contour Kit. What a cultural reset. I don't use this anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, this Soul Body um, Highlight. This one's relatively new, and I love it, so I'm going to keep this one. This is in the shade Rosé. Um, Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Glitter Highlight. I love this. Of course, it's not going to fit. Um, Makeup Revolution and Sofa Palette. I bought this because everybody was raving about it. I don't really like it. None of the shades really stick out to me, but it's hardly used, so I know a friend will really enjoy it. And then the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights Palette. I love this thing. I truly love this thing. I think I'm going to give it to a friend, though. I just reach for other ones, even though this one is such a beautiful palette. I just don't really reach for it. This one breaks my heart to get rid of, but I'm, I am being cutthroat right now. Cutthroat. Um, and now it's exciting because I can fit all of my blush, bronzer, and highlight in one drawer. So that's really exciting. We're getting rid of so much. It feels great. Oh my god, y'all. I was wondering where the rest of my things are. I forgot so many things in my drawer. Okay. Um, well, there's more to get rid of. Um, Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. Gonna give to a friend. I don't reach for it. Too Faced. Um, I'm gonna keep this because I still use the side when I'm fake tanned. So, uh, well, that's not gonna work. Um, Cover FX Bronzing Duo. I enjoy this a lot. Uh, this Pro Glow to Go, I'm going to give to a friend. I really liked it back in the day, but I just don't reach for it. 
This one is almost brand new, a uh, new uh, e.l.f. contour or bronzing palette. I love the e.l.f. bronzing palette, so I'm going to keep those. Put everything that doesn't fit in here. And then I think I'm going to get rid of almost everything in this little basket. This is just kind of my overflow basket of stuff that I couldn't decide. Do you remember when I bought this? Forever ago. Literally like 2017. I think I'm going to get rid of that. And then more. Um, this one's a Makeup Geek bronzer. I'm going to get rid of e.l.f. blush, these Milani baked blushes I just don't really reach for anymore. They're still beautiful. This is another, oh, this is a bronzer from ColourPop I'm gonna get rid of. And who remembers Makeup Geek Blush and Romance? Again, another cultural reset. And the contours from Makeup Geek. God, these were fucking good. I'm just gonna throw this away because I have a feeling if I toss it in this pile, it's just gonna shatter into a million pieces. That's it. This is what I have. Highlight, bronzer, blush, and then all the ones that just don't fit are all over on this side. But now I can fit everything in one spot and I have room to buy more. Okay, y'all, so this next section is my top, my top drawer to the left. Um, this is where I keep all of my like foundations and things. We're gonna go through this really fast because I think I know exactly what I'm gonna get rid of, what I'm gonna keep. Um, Koki setting powder I'm gonna get rid of. Keeping my kimchi puff of pass, I'm also keeping the Anastasia loose powder. Keeping my KVD um, blotting powder. Ooh, uh, definitely keeping my LA Girl Pro powder. Definitely keeping my NYX. And then I'm gonna keep my Beauty Bakery because I haven't used it enough to really like decide and this one's also relatively new. Um, I'm gonna get rid, no, I might keep LA Girl Pro Matte. Um, definitely keeping both of my Pretty Fresh, even though they are not the right color for me. Um, one's like a more tan color and the other one's a little bit too dark. Um, another CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. Let me see, what shades do I have of this? Three. Okay, so I have Tan Fair and Light Medium. I think I'm going to get rid of Light Medium and just keep Fair and Tan and that way I can mix them depending on how tan I am at that moment. I've also been reaching more for the Pretty Fresh. I have two shades of Pretty Fresh and I'm gonna keep both of those. Um, and then I'm gonna keep Bare Minerals Bare Pro and CoverGirl Outlast. And I'm going to get rid of the Koki Skin Perfect. I'm gonna see if one of my friends wants this. And that's it, these are the only foundations I have now. That feels really good. This is oddly like so soothing and satisfying like I thought I would be more sad about it but I'm really not it just feels good to get rid of stuff concealer oh god okay I'm gonna keep the kimchi the most concealer it's too light for me but I use it sometimes for things um this shade of camo concealer is way too dark for me I tried to get a tan shade and I got a shade that's way too tan um keeping elf camo um this Milani conceal and perfect one of these is like really empty. I think maybe these are both good. Um, keeping both my Conceal and Perfect, love those. I'm gonna get rid of these CoverGirl Clean Fresh ones. I just don't like them. I keep, I keep keeping them to try them out more and I still just don't really like them. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Um, keeping both of these ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Keeping this shade of Camo Concealer in Medium Sand. I'm getting rid of both of these HD concealers. Um, and then this, so I have a backup of the Puff Puff Pass primer, which is really the only primer that I enjoy. Um, e.l.f. Glow Lotion I'm going to get rid of because this is so fucking old. Um, the, I have these little flosser things I'm going to put in my bathroom. Hair tie, hair tie, hair ties, hair ties, hair ties. A backup Urban Decay shower, shower, oh, shower, <laughs> shower, what? Urban Decay shadow primer, thank you. Um, this is my everyday uh, moisturizer, so I'm going to keep this in here. Um, I really, really love it. This is another um, daily moisturizer. This one, I think, started to break me out, so I'll still use it if I really want, like, a glow, like a no-makeup day where I want SPF and a little bit of glow. I will still keep this and use this, but I don't use this every day anymore. Um, and then I'm going to get rid... I'm going to see if a friend wants this primer because it's fucking expensive. Um, it just is a little too silicone-y for me. This is the Kula Dawn Patrol Classic Primer. Um, I'm going to see if a friend wants that because, again, I just don't like the texture of it. And then I'm going to dump this out. Oh, and then Jaclyn Cosmetic Setting Palette. Definitely going to keep that. I don't know where I'm going to put all this. But basically, I have to fit all of this into these little drawers. Now, I'm also... Also, I'm not showing y'all how I'm putting things back into these drawers because it doesn't matter, because once I get to Canada, it's gonna be a completely different setup. So when I get to Canada, I will definitely do a video like setting up my new makeup desk. Um, but for now, I'm literally just tossing them into these drawers 
uh, because that's just, that's what I have. Um, so, yeah. You have a queen? Okay, I think, okay, Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm gonna keep my brow scissors, um, e.l.f. lip balm, NYX lip balm, um, under eye concentrate, put with there, brow stuff, brows, brow freeze, brow pomade I'm gonna get rid of because this thing is like getting super, super gnarly. I'm gonna get rid of all the rest of this. Sorry, I'm just like going so fast because I feel like this video is already like a million years long, but it'll be satisfying to watch, I think. Y'all, final drawer. So this is the drawer that is right basically in front of me on these two top drawers. This is my most used eyeshadow palette drawer and like eyeliners, mascaras, and fake lashes. Not a lot of these are gonna leave because I pretty much got rid of every other eyeshadow palette except for these, and these are my most used, most loved eyeshadow. So a lot of these are staying, but let's start with these two baskets. These are just fake lashes. Um, keeping my kiss in chiffon. These Ardell ones are new. Um, these ones are new. I'm gonna get rid of this little Urban Decay shadow. It's just random. Um, these are old lashes. New, new. The sugar pill. I love this little eyeshadow. I'm, I'm always keeping this eyeshadow. Nikia Joy Cosmetics. I haven't used. These ones are old and these ones are new and these ones are not new, but I still use them. So these are all the lashes I'm keeping. And these are just eyeliners. I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to keep what ones I use a lot. I don't use these two mascaras. I'm going to toss those. ABH Clear Brow Gel, the Pacifica Dream Big. I wasn't sure about this for a while, but I've really been liking it lately. Um, NYX Worth the Hype. This one is like dry as a bone. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, my favorite lip liner, NYX Suede in Soft Spoken, Urban Decay. NYX I'm getting rid of. This buxom one I'm gonna keep. This is a white color pop. It's like literally empty. These two Rod Beauty Christie ones. I think I'm gonna get rid of the yellow one, but I definitely will keep the green one. Um, NYX Matte Liquid Liner, of course. That's a staple. CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. That is empty, completely empty. Cool. Um, Steely Style, rest in peace. I'm finally gonna get rid of you. You are probably so old. MCR and Hip Dot. I just don't use this. The shapes are weird. Another Urban Decay uh, brow pencil, or not brow pencil, eyeliner. Um, red eyeliner from ColourPop I'm keeping. I'm gonna get rid of this pure brown. I don't use that. And looks like we got a Koki eyeliner. I will keep a white, champ like a champagne eyeliner. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't really use like champagne or like nude liners. And then a lip liner. Nope, eye and brow, eye and brow pencil and taupe. What are you? I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't use that. Okay. Let's go through, okay, I'm gonna keep this one. This one a friend gave to me. This is the Makeup a Murder uh, Crime Scene Trace Evidence Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm gonna hold on to this because I haven't used it yet and it was a gift. Makeup Revolution and Alexa Stone. This is my go-to rainbow palette now. I'm definitely keeping this. I don't know how I'm gonna organize this. I'm keeping all of my ColourPop collabs. The At Forest Sight from Robbie D. Christie, Dream Street, the ColourPop, um, oh my gosh, the. Powerpuff Girls, I'm definitely keeping. And then these, the QAF and the Element of Surprise are all, like these are some of my favorite ColourPop eyeshadows. Absolutely keeping the My Chem and Hip Dot. This is the Broken Promises in My Feelings palette. This palette is really beautiful. I just think somebody else will get more use out of it. I really genuinely love it. Broken Promises killed it with this palette. Not getting rid of it because I don't like it. I just think somebody else will get more use out of it. This is another Hip Dot palette that one of my friends just gave me. I might just, mm, I think I'll keep it for now because I haven't tried a lot of Hip Dot and she just gave that to me. She just had an extra laying around. It wasn't like a gift, but. Um, ABH Glow Kit. I keep this in my most used palettes because this is a palette that is most used. Same with the uh, Spotlight Highlighting Palette from BH Cosmetics. These are two highlighting palettes that I use all the fucking time. Pure and Robbie D. Christie, I don't use this a lot, but I love it so much, so I'm gonna keep it. Stone Cold Fox, absolutely gonna keep. These are my Deep Potted Jeffree Star eyeshadows. I'm still gonna keep these because I use these a lot in like my day-to-day -day life. Urban Decay Naked Wild West, I think I will give to a friend. I genuinely enjoy it, but again, just moving on. Just getting, getting rid of things. Maybe I'll keep that one. No, because really, really the only two shades I use are those two. So like, 
I don't need those two. I have those two in other palettes. Beach Cosmetics Shanix So The Remix. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time ever. I will never get rid of that. Shade Light Contour. I'm gonna get rid of this just because I bought this one from TJ Maxx and I swear to God the um, the formula is different. Like it's so powdery. I'm definitely gonna keep my Shade Light Eye Palette though. This one is a staple. I adore it. That's it. This, these are my palettes. So let's go through these other ones that I didn't know if I was gonna keep or not. The Profusion Mirage. You know, looking at all my palettes, I just don't need this. Somebody else will enjoy it. Ooh, Urban Decay Electric. I think I'm finally gonna say goodbye. Ugh, this was such a cultural reset. Y'all, this was one of the like, first like crazy shadow palettes on the market. I live for this, but it is so goddamn old. I swear, I bought this in like 2013. It is so old. Maybe not 2013, but you know, it's old as shit. I bought it when it first came out. I think I will keep these two, just especially this one is very, very unique and I got rid of a lot of shadows and I don't really have like pastels in my collection anymore. So I will keep this. And I mean, this one is just super nice. So, ew, there's lash glue in it. I love it. So I will keep those. That's it. This is it. Do y'all want to see the pile that I got rid of? Like, holy crap. This is like, this is so much makeup that I'm getting rid of. It feels so good though. It feels like, again, I've said it a million times, it's a reset. It's, we're re 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 renewing, we're going in different. And it's just time. I'm not gonna have as much time or money to spend on makeup. I'm still gonna be creating content for sure and like definitely doing makeup videos, but like my makeup videos are gonna be more about like the looks and having fun with makeup than the products, if that makes sense. You know, like I talked about this in the last video. I feel like there's so much new product that it's just like people don't really care about new product and that's what the feedback I heard from you guys is you guys don't care as much about new product. You want to see the stuff that I'm going back in and reaching for because that's obviously my favorite. So I'm listening to you and that's kind of where I'm going with it too. So this doesn't mean that I'm not going to try new makeup. It's just going to be, I'm going to be a lot more thoughtful with the new makeup that I am trying. So holy shit, this video is probably going to be like an hour long, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Oh, this is a lot, but. It feels good, it feels so good. It's a new time, it's a reset. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I will continue to just be able to, I will continue to just create videos whenever I can, as y'all know, in the process of moving within the next two weeks. So it's gonna be a crazy time. I'm gonna be kind of absent from social media. Um, but thank you all for staying with me on this journey. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.